Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how to retain the state of the activity when the screen orientation changes. If you observe the common theme across all the situation was we always had only one fragment regardless of the orientation of the screen. If I can rephrase it, I can say that regardless of the orientation, there was a same layout that was used to inflate the fragments in the activity. But what if I want to use different layouts depending upon the screen orientation? That is, in the landscape mode, I would rather use a layout which supports two fragments. You have to understand not so subtle differences that it will bring in in your development. In the landscape mode, right now you are displaying both the fragments. But however, in the portrait mode, at any point in time, you either display one of the two fragments, not both of them together. Especially with the introduction of larger screens like tablets and different screen sized mobile devices, it is important that we understand how to support multiple layouts in Android application. And that is what we will be doing in this particular video. So let's have a look at code which supports a single fragment container. You have a frame layout which acts as a fragment container in which we are rendering our fragments. This frame layout is actually a part of activity underscore main dot xml file. This particular layout file is under the folder layout. Any layout file that is under the layout folder are applied to both landscape and portrait mode. There is no distinction as such. And when you have layout files in the layout folder, if the screen is rotated to landscape mode, the screen just gets stretched out for the landscape screen. That's all. That is how Android framework deals with landscape and portrait mode. If you have not provided different layouts for the different screen sizes or different screen orientations. But what if you want to support two fragments in an activity? For that, we will have to change the layout and add two frame layouts for supporting both the fragments. As you can see, there is a fragment container and fragment container 2. The IDs of the both frame layouts are different. And this particular layout file is not under the layout folder. It is under layout-land folder. It is different folder than the earlier folder that we had seen. So right now we have layout and layout-land folder and both of them have layout files. The subtle differences that you should be aware of is this particular folder is created to place the layout files for landscape mode only and these layout files are only used or applied when the screen is in the landscape mode. So to support multiple layouts for landscape and portrait you have to make sure that you place the layout file in both layout and layout hyphen land folder but you have to make sure that you use the same file name for both the layout files and if you just do that android framework will make sure that depending upon the screen mode it will choose the appropriate layout file to inflate the activity to understand it further let's get into a demo so it is the same old code base that I am using. Only the difference is I have another layout hyphen land folder and this also has a activity underscore main. Only the difference is it has got now two fragment containers and I have not changed anything in the activity right now. Everything pretty much remains same. So let me run and see how it behaves. You will observe that in the portrait mode I have the countries fragment and when I click on any one of the item I move on to the next fragment. But if I change the orientation you will see that now you have one fragment container which is holding the countries fragment and the countries description fragment and everything is happening in the same fragment and this looks very absurd because right now this particular part of the screen even though has the space reserved for displaying the second fragment but it is not being utilized. Now we will have to write our code so that we make use of this particular part of the screen properly. So let's go back and slightly modify the things and see how it will work out. The first thing that we will have to do is find out a mechanism to understand which particular layout is actually being used when a particular screen is being shown. So if you go back here in the normal layout file, I can add a ID activity underscore main underscore say 
portrait and there will be another activity underscore main under the landscape folder and here i will have a another id activity underscore main underscore landscape so this will give us an information in the main activity which particular layout is actually being used so i can do if find view by id r dot id dot activity underscore portrait is not equal to null that means the screen that is being shown is portrait else if find view by id r dot id dot landscape then the screen that is being shown is landscape but going further adding of the fragments and replacement of the fragments will have to slightly change this particular logic will now go inside the, the logic of whether the portrait or the landscape layouts are rendered so if saved instance is null that means activity is getting loaded for the first time we can add the fragment countries else we will find out what was the previous state of the selected country and add description country so for that we will have to override on saved instance and on restore instance selected country will be the instance variable which will be holding whichever country that got selected on the callback of on country selected and then inside if it is portrait mode and if it is not a fresh activity then we will have to add the country description fragment and pass the value of selected country and now comes the landscape part irrespective of whether it is in the portrait mode or landscape landscape mode the first fragment container this part is always going to hold the country's fragment so that is why we will definitely be adding this part and now comes the another part wherein whether it was a fresh activity or a stale activity if it was a fresh activity then we will have to add the country description fragment and the selected country will be by default india because that is the first entry in the country's fragment but however this particular fragment should be rendered in the the second container and that is why in the main activity if you go to this particular method we cannot use the fragment container we have to use fragment container 2 and that is why we will override a method here it will take a container id and we will use this container id to decide where our fragment should be placed and here we will pass container id which is r dot id dot container 2 and since it is a landscape we can be sure that it will always be usable and we can pretty much do the same thing here and now here in the on country selected once again the logic would slightly change instead of simply adding the country description fragment i will check whether if it is not a landscape then i will add in a normal way otherwise i will pass the id of the container and then the country and another subtle change that you will have to make is in the country description fragment in the on activity created this will always work out only if it is a fresh activity if it is a stale activity then we will have to use old selected country that was being displayed earlier so what we will do is if saved instance state is not equal to null that means it is a stale activity we will get the selected country name and then if it is a fresh activity we can always get it from the bundle and we can override the on save instance state and in the out state we can put string and selected country and the country name so if you are doing this then in the main activity if activity is stale you need not have to even send selected country you can just pass null because description fragment is already taking care of this so that's it if i just summarize we are managing how to handle orientation change that is pretty much decided on which particular id is getting displayed and inside that depending upon whether it is a fresh activity or a stale activity we are adding the appropriate fragments with appropriate states and in the saved instance and restore instance we are maintaining the selected country and restoring the selected country because we want to maintain previous state and in the on country selected callback method depending upon the screen mode we are adding appropriate fragments so let me run this there is no difference and if i change the orientation you can observe that the states are being maintained and if i change the orientation orientation you will see the country description fragment not the country's fragment and if i change the orientation 
it will once again still maintain the state so let me put breakpoints here and let us try to understand in the debug mode so right now our screen is in the landscape mode so it will come here in the else part and it will add the countries fragment first and then it will check what is the saved instance state it is null so it will add india by default so all this logic of maintaining the state and everything can be really confusing for the new beginner so what i suggest is you put these breakpoints and run the application in the debug mode to understand how the logic is playing out so far what we have seen is we are managing the state of the activity but what if we don't want to manage the state of the activity that is you might have put config changes attribute for the main activity for the orientation change screen size and keyboard hidden in that case what will happen so let me run the code now in the portrait mode everything seems to be working fine but if i change the orientation whatever the earlier logic that we had written it seems to be not working because our activity is not getting recreated on saved instance and on restore instance is not getting executed so whatever the logic that we had written will only work fine if we intend to manage the whole activity life cycle on our own if we don't want to do that and if you have put this particular attribute in the main activity the only method that is getting executed is on configuration changed and every time i change it it is only this particular method that is getting executed our new logic will have to somehow be connected with this particular callback method of on configuration change we shall see how to do this in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye